What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today we're unboxing a brand new projector. They were kind enough to send it to me. Let's go ahead and get this underway. Of course, if you guys do like this video, please make sure to hit a like, comment down below. Let me know what you guys honestly think. And, man, all right. So here is the projector itself. I wanted to show you guys the packaging really quickly. The box uh, comes together really nice. Here's a quick look at the back of it. We'll go over all of the details on this projector right now. But I wanted to show you this. It is so small and compact compared to the other projectors uh, that I've done before. I'm gonna compare it to a PlayStation 5 controller so that way you guys can see just how small this thing is. In comparison to all the other projectors out there, this one is definitely the smallest one that I've ever owned. I wanted to give a big shout out to the company for sending me this for free to review for you guys here today. Of course, I'm gonna have a link to this in the video description down below, but let's continue unboxing this because holy cow, it is so small. Now, before we get into the actual projector, it does have some extra stuff over here. So we'll go ahead and open this up and show you guys. We have a power adapter. So it comes with the power cords that you need. It also has a remote as well. And this is really well packaged, guys. Uh, I'm pretty impressed by the details in the packaging, especially on the inside of this. So here's the... I'm gonna go ahead and just... Oh. So, it's got a nice little finish to it, almost like a wood finish. You guys ready for the projector itself? Let's go ahead. Now, before we actually unbox the projector, I'm gonna set it down really nicely right here. Wanted to show you guys the packaging really quickly. Um, so, I love when projectors include cases like this because it's e easy to travel with. If you want to take it to a friend's house, if you want to take it on vacation, you definitely can. It, it is very small, very light, and the packaging is really good as well. So as you guys can see here, projector goes here, all your accessories go here. So uh, cables, you got plenty of room, so. All right, so here is the projector itself. It is so small and so tiny compared to all the other projectors. I'm really curious to see how this uh, performs. I'm gonna show you guys in just a second. It is native 1080p, so that is pretty freaking awesome. Show you guys the under belly of it. You can also mount this um, to any stand you want, or you could just have it, you know, placed like this. Let's go over the back ports really quickly. You get your power, you have a USB, you have HDMI, and you have audio. On the top here, you have your power button. Press that, turns it on. I'm going to take this little blue sticker off now. The lens looks beautiful on this projector. So I wanna show you guys really quickly in comparison to the PlayStation 5 controller. This is the smallest projector that I have personally owned. So um, in comparison to the PlayStation 5 controller, it's not that much bigger. All right, now that we've got it unboxed, let's go ahead and plug it in and see what it can do. All right, now that the projector's on, let's go over some of the features that it has. Peripheral. So you can do USB, HDMI, and you can do cast screen as well. Nice feature to have on a projector. Honestly, cast screen is my number one thing to go to. But of course, you wanna play some video games, HDMI is where it's at. You got a video, picture, and music on here as well. That will be for your USB, and you, you can adjust the text if you want. Let's go into settings really quickly, and you have image, sound, time, and general. Let's go into image really quickly. You can fully customize and change the image to your liking, so, Image mode, you can come in here, you can mess around with the contrast, the brightness, the color, the sharpness, and the tint. Uh, color temperature, it also has a zoom mode. So if you go in here, it's automatically set to auto, but you can do scaling 4.3. 
6.9. Uh, noise reduction, it's on by default. You can put off, low, medium, strong. Let's go back into general really quickly and you could change the language. You could do factory uh, restore. So if you wanna restore the factory settings, you can do so. Um, let's say you changed a bunch of stuff on the coloring and you want to make sure that you're good, uh, you can do that as well. At screen flip, so you can flip the screen, you got a software upgrade, so you can do a software upgrade on this as well. Go ahead and talk about image quality and how it performs. Let's be honest, let's be real with ourselves. When it comes to purchasing stuff, especially things that are not as expensive, uh, you still wanna make sure that you get your money's worth. And um, with this projector in particular, it plays great for the PlayStation 5. It has a great price point of $200. The Amazon link is in the video description down below if you guys are interested in it. Maybe you wanna buy this uh, for somebody for the holidays. $200 is a great price point, especially for how much projector you're getting for how little you're having to pay for it. And as you guys can see, it plays beautifully. No lag, no issues. And that's one of my biggest things. And I know I've repeated that several times, but the image quality and am I gonna experience any lag is what I always look for. And the price point, like I said, is amazing. So if you guys wanna take advantage of it, Again, the link is in the video description down below. If you guys got any other questions about the projector, definitely let me know in those uh, comments down below. Uh, like I showed you in the unboxing, it does have a spot at the bottom of the projector to mount. Um, so you can mount it to many different things. Um, I'm sure they have full accessories for it as well. Um, so definitely check them out. Big shout out to the company for sending me this projector. All the details again are gonna be in the video description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome. I'm just gonna keep killing zombies though.